Really quick, guys, I do have a sponsorship deal here with Messy Modding Store. Uh, pretty much, it's just a store where you can go and buy modded accounts for Red Dead Redemption 2 online or for GTA Online if you're interested in that. And uh, you can also, like for the PC version, you can buy straight up just cash, gold bars, whatever. Uh, and then for the consoles and stuff, you can already you can buy accounts that already have gold bars, you know, already have money, uh, certain levels, whatever, just depending on what you're looking for. And yeah, I'll link this in the description. Uh, you can go ahead and go check it out if you are interested in that. If you're not, that's fine. But yeah, I'm going to go ahead and get into the video. Hey guys, this is the Better Editor. I'm coming at you guys with some solo money and XP, or uh, with, the, with the solo money and XP method in the game of Red Dead Online. If you guys didn't know, Call to Arms is offering double the money and XP, not double gold, unfortunately, for, you know, completing these and also just, you know, getting to whatever wave you get. You don't have to actually finish the entire thing out. Uh, whatever wave you get to, you'll get paid, but obviously the higher the wave you are in, the more money you'll get. They've been doing a lot of bonuses on these lately, but most of the time it's been like 50%. But now you'll be able to earn double the money in XP. I don't know if there's a rank requirement on these. I don't I don't think it would be very high. Uh, if you don't have the paper, go to the post office or your camp lockbox and go ahead and pick it up. And uh, it should be in your document section in your satchel. You'd go down to, uh, to Telegrams and click on Call to Arms. There's a bunch of different locations. Uh, later on in the month, I think it's starting on the 14th or so, or around the 21st, there'll be like christmas theme missions and stuff like that, where you'll be, you know, it'll be snowing and there'll be like Christmas ornaments and stuff around, but right now it's just the regular mode for right now. And uh, whatever wave you get to, I do recommend Blackwater because you can get on top of the buildings and stuff and last a little bit longer. I would recommend that you get to about wave 6 or 7, just as far as you can get really, but if you can make it to about wave 6, you can just kill yourself and then hold circle or B to replay it, and you can just keep doing that back to back over and over again, and I do recommend, I strongly recommend that you do not use express rounds or your high velocity rounds, because if you use them all up, then you'll not have any more of them, and you'll run out of them pretty quick. Uh, so I would just use your regular rounds because you can find regular rounds laying around in this game mode anyway. Uh, they'll either be in a crate or they'll be like a repeater sitting there that you can pick up and it'll always have uh, regular rounds in it that you can pick up. Uh, like I said though, just don't waste your important ammo and I wouldn't waste all your tonics and stuff either. If you die at like wave 4, just accept it and then restart. It's better than you know, wasting a whole bunch of stuff. You want this to be as efficient as possible. That's really all the pointers I can really give you. And I just wanted to tell you that it's double money. It's really easy to do. It shouldn't be any rank requirement or anything like that. It doesn't cost you anything to start this up like the rolls do. A really good way, especially if you're a newer player and you don't have any of the rolls or whatever, uh, you can go ahead and do this and earn you some stuff. But yeah, that's pretty much it for the video. If you guys did like this video, then drop it a like. If you dislike this video, then drop it a dislike. If you guys want to see more videos like this, then go ahead and hit the sub button. You will see more. Other than all that stuff, I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.